I believe that in a worship experience, that the worship leads up to and then away from the preached word. And by the way, that preached word does not always have to be the uh, oration. The preached word can come through a song. The preached word can come through a, uh, some sort of performance art, like a dance. It can come through poetry. It's incredible how the preached word can come, but I believe that it is the pinnacle. It is the uh, opportunity for someone to be, or someone's to be the, the oracle, to minister to the hearts of the people. What is the word of God to them? The hope, the faith, the love, the power of God to them. I, I think it's in, an incredible moment uh, in the worship experience because people come wanting to hear are wanting to receive, are wanting to be helped or enriched, have their lives enhanced. And so I, I am I'm of the opinion that we as a community uh, channel that to one another in powerful ways. And I often call it a circle dance. I write about it in uh, my book. It's a circle dance because in the, in the context of the Pentecostal church, when the preacher would preach, the people would say stuff back to you. You know, the whole time that you're preaching. And sometimes it's just, well, amen, or, or you better preach, or something like that. But then sometimes they'd be in complete dialogue. Now, you're in the pulpit preaching a sermon, and they're saying, you know, I told my, my husband that same thing last night. Didn't I, honey? Didn't I say that same thing <laughs> to you in the preaching moment? You realize that, um, I realized that the energy in the moment was the ways in which we connected in our common stories. And maybe I'm the oracle, but the witness comes because the Spirit of God in you knows that what it is that I'm saying is speaking to our need as a community. We, we, it's a circle dance. I, they are preaching to me as much as I am preaching to them.